Hello and welcome to another episode of Life and Truth Podcast. Always excited to have you listening. Thank you so much. Um, if this is the first time you're coming to the podcast, I encourage you to go to all of my social media platforms, so Jonathan Obise, um, and also my website, of course, jonathanobise.com. You'll be able to listen to all the previous episodes, and I so believe it's going to be a blessing to your heart. Thank you so much. So, today I'm going to be speaking about religion versus relationship, right? Religion, on the one hand, a relationship on the other hand now um, the average person you meet probably on the street right for a Christian you know the average person or just general the average person you meet on the street will tell you you know they belong to this religion or they belong to that religion almost everybody is religious somebody almost everybody believes in something almost everybody believes in God you know um, you would find atheists but you know they really just be um, not really you wouldn't really find them that much but you'd always find people who tell you oh of course I believe in God I know there's God I believe in God um, you know they have religious names so that's religion right um, now for the Christian of course now the essence of this podcast first of all is to be able to look at what being religious is and what it means also have a relationship and also to look at the question of is it possible to you know go from being religious to having a relationship the consequences of being religious and not having a relationship and also how you can really now become you can begin to build you know that relationship with God that's the essence of this podcast now um, there are typical statements you hear from you know the typical the maybe somebody someone you know just let me just say for the Christians now or for yeah for the Christians there's typical statements you hear right for just for people who just been religious you know you hear statements like um, no I go to church I was born into a Christian family I have a Christian name um, maybe I'm a worker I'm a leader in my church and as a result of that I believe that you know I'm religious of course and I believe some people say they have a relationship but you know when you look at all of those things right um, do you think that being religious automatically qualifies someone for having a relationship with God I believe the answer will be no right um, because it's possible to just you know for example you have armed robbers okay let me just use it so if for example you have armed robbers who also have maybe Christian names right so of course those people um, and special cases or you have criminals or whatever it is so it's possible to be religious but not have a relationship with God but it's not possible to have a relationship with God and not be religious because it's going to be evident people are going to see that right um, the Bible tells us in the book of Acts you know that Christians were, were first called Christians in Antioch why because they behaved like Christ they actually saw a pattern of life they saw a relationship that they had that made them you know behave like Christ and they say oh it seems these people have been with Jesus Christ and as a result of that they call them Christians so it is possible to have be religious and not have a relationship but it's not possible to have a relationship with God and not be religious it's going to be evident people will see that now this is a, this is a problem now for a lot of people a lot of people desire to have a relationship for example you see people who um, you know sometimes you hear people who are sick and a lot of people just desire that oh how I wish I had power I how I wish I had supernatural power I'll just pray and they'll be healed and they'll be delivered a lot of people desire that but so many a times you know to the work that has to go into building that relationship that will be able to bring you to that place of experiencing God so much that you become a solution provider is what is missing there's a lot of work it takes a lot to come to, to get to that place of developing that work with God that gives you deeper revelations that makes you a solution to the problems of a lot of people and to the problems that you see around you now for example <clears throat> You see, some of the things that steal time, that steal, you know, that um, the time you could use in developing that work with God are things that we have around us all the time. Movies, social media, internet, and all of these things, technology that are meant for good. But for a lot of people, the, the will or what it takes to control how much they absorb, how much they take in is not there. Um, the, the, yeah, the regulator, I would say, is not there for them. So you see someone, for example, who spends three hours, five hours watching movies, but when it comes to prayer and study of the word, hmm, 
you know it's a lot of work or you see somebody who chats a lot you know on social media always on social media surfing the internet but when it comes to place of prayer and study of the word you know it's a lot of work you really cannot develop you know a relationship with God if you cannot spend quality time there is no relationship that really succeeds without communication communication is a bedrock of any relationship even in marriage for example the reason why a lot of marriages you know have problems and you know they have challenges is usually as a result of really you know communication problems you know communicating this one is not communicating well or this one is understanding communication and things like that and you just have things just flying all over the place and then you have you know a lot of um a lot of issues so communication of course it's very very important to building any viable relationship and you can't have a relationship with God if you don't spend time with God and how do you spend time with God how do you develop that relationship with God and this is what we're going to talk about number one you must give time to study of the word but before giving before i talk about that the first thing is you must first have the experience the new birth experience the new birth experience simply talks about like abraham and enoch where the bible talked of enoch they said and enoch walked with god at some point in his life the bible said and enoch walked with god for abraham the bible talked about abraham he said and god called abraham and he said walk thou before me and be thou perfect there was a time god called him you also if you must have that relationship with god you wouldn't be you know you, you don't you don't just say oh no i was born into a christian family and because of that i'm automatically no, no no it doesn't work that way there has to be a time when you made a decision you have that consciousness you came into that consciousness of wanting to develop your work with god that is super 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 critical it is only when that has happened that every other thing that it takes to now work with god and build a relationship and build a devotion life can come into play so that has to be settled or maybe at some point in time you gave your life to Christ but when you look at your life today you know that you're so so far off the mark you know that you've gone far far away from that life of commitment that will work with God then you have to rededicate your life to God you have to make that conscious decision that at this date you know at so 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 point in time I made the decision I wanted to work with God I chose to please God why because man is a free will agent you have have the free will you can decide to you have to decide to you have to come into that consciousness and of course it is not you know I was you know um, giving a baptismal name when I was small or this or that no 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 working with God has to do with your consciousness you have to come to that point to say I'm choosing to work with God so when that is established then every other thing can follow the second thing that you have to do is you have to build your personal altar without a personal altar you cannot have a relationship with God you cannot build a relationship with God you cannot grow in the knowledge of God when you have a personal altar that is where you can spend time to pray that is where you spend time to pray rather that is where you spend time to read the word you spend time to study the Bible you are no more dependent on my pastor said you are no more dependent on my leader said or my this said. No, no, no. It is you now. The insight that you've gotten from the word of God, the revelation from the word of God is now what is driving you. It's now what is guiding you. It's now what is controlling you by reason of your personal altar. So you have to develop a personal altar. Without this, you cannot have a relationship. No wonder when you look at scriptures, Moses told Joshua, he said, he told him that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein, that thou mayest to observe to do um, all that is written therein. And in so doing, you have good success. You make your you make your way prosperous, and then you have good success. There has to be that consciousness of study study of the word of god of course and also consciousness of building your prayer life without a prayer life without a study life you cannot have a relationship you just continue to be religious you just continue to be like every other person who you know just goes to church bs you know 
Christian names, albeit religious names, but don't have a conscious walk with God, don't have a conscious relationship with God. I believe you want to go into, you want to experience deeper things, you want to experience deeper things in your walk with God. And if you want that to happen in your life, this is the way to go from being religious to having a relationship. It's simple, but it takes your commitment. It takes you sacrificing, you know, things that you know don't add value to you spiritually and say, now I want to build my walk with God. And I tell you, you begin to see God show himself mightily in your life. You begin to experience supernatural things. You know, you begin to experience the extraordinary beyond what the average religious person experiences. And I so believe that God will use you to be a blessing to your family, to your community, to your world, and everything that God has in store for you will be manifested when you have that relationship with him because he will instruct you he will guide you the Bible says and thou which I hear a voice behind you saying this is the way walk in it he says my sheep hear my voice why sheep those who consciously build a relationship with him those who go beyond being religious like the Pharisees and Sadducees who had the appearance of righteousness they had the appearance of godliness the Bible talks about those who have the appearance of godliness but they deny the power thereof. I pray that for you, you will not just be religious, but you will go from being religious to having a relationship that will be a blessing to your world. Thank you so much for listening. I so believe that this has blessed your heart. Please do not hesitate to share, to like, to subscribe, and please just pass this on to as many people as you know that this will be a blessing to you and i look forward to all that god will do in your life and through you thank you so much for listening one more time and i look forward to speaking with you on the next episode Bye bye